And um, a kid was murdered, okay? And yeah, I guess from these um, three people, okay? Miss Jenny was um, grand papers. Miss Burton was out in recess. And then um, Miss um, Justin Bird was um, um, having fun. What do you think it is? Someone that was having fun. No, it's one grand papers. Because it's the first day of school. Mm. Night bubble pass. I don't. Okay, that's all in letter B. But that's a Freddy. Well, I guess I should have asked what grade because there's summer school work that she could have been grading. Hey, baby girl. Can you give me my other drink? Sure. Excuse me. Shawty, like a melody. whom it may concern i just wanted to personally and sincerely thank you for your work on the jamie banks case i'm hoping you actually will finally uncover what happened to that lovely young lady it was so long ago and i believe judy martin and i are the only remaining faculty members who were also present on that dreadful day i still remember what is it was like yesterday i've heard that you may be uh, forcing yourself, your investigation on, or setting, how, how do you, on Dr. whatever his Wait, what is. time is it? It's 4.20. Oh. Um. You should Shawty, know like a melody, that I'm immediately melody. after Jamie was found dead, Dr. Heldings worked timelessly by my side to help students and staff get through the senseless tragedy. I don't think any of us could have endured it without him. I recently asked Judy what she was called about that day, and she shared a story about Dr. Heldings I thought you should hear since it happened moments before Jamie died. He had stopped into her studio art class to drop off a student and the class was bursting with excitement to show him what they had been working on. Despite being a huge rush, he lovely took the time with every student to praise their efforts right up until the bell rang. There's no way this caring man murdered a student mere moments later. I felt that the need to reach out to you to share this antidote and affirmation that Dr. Jelding, I still don't know how to pronounce his name, uh, was always there for his students and they loved him. I can at least to his incredible kindness and genuine caring nature for everyone at this school, as well as his impact, intelligence, and praise record. <coughs> oh, I'm not going to do it. In uh, praise record as our guidance counselor, it would definitely be a waste of your mobile effort to pursue Dr. Bedding better to focus on the others so justice can be served for Jamie more quickly, but I suppose you're the expert if I can help you with anything. The principal. Dun dun dun. Dun dun boom. Okay, this is the rocks that she wants us to put in. This is the fist tap. 
What if, uh, the thing... So, this one will go under, where's the principal at? Shorty like a melody, a body like a melody. I thought this was silicone for a bit. Does it look like it? No. There's a strange pattern to it. It's weird. AirPod Johnny ain't nobody. Give me the uh C C T Yeah, do it, don't worry. Aqua jewels. Chest tell someone. Airport, Fortnite Battle Pass. I just put it on my PC because I need, need to get a Fortnite okay. Battle Pass. Did I mention Fortnite? Did I mention Fortnite? It's night time and it's five o'clock. It's basically night time. Oh, you know, we're, I've got the time. I got a melody on body. Oh, 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 so organized. Yes. Okay. So what I'm gonna do? And this one, I'm gonna keep our girl stuff in here. Right? Yeah. Let's see. How many people are watching? I don't know. I can't see. Got one. Okay, we're gonna keep our suspects in here. Airpod, Johnny, ain't nobody. Fortnite Battle Pass. I just put it on my PC. Cause I need, need to get the Fortnite Battle Pass. Did I mention Fortnite? Did I mention Fortnite? Just so we can have it more organized. I mean, it's 5 o'clock, it's basically night time. Oh, you know, we're adventure time. Oh, 
Well, no, I guess I should have hers in the folder and then, because they're all, right? Because hers falls less. So we'll keep her in here. Because it has her name on it. have all of our statements in the evidence bag because they're evidence. <laughs> Let's find who, out who it is. Okay, so now we gotta go to number three. File number three. Okay. Shiva Matemba. I love how you haven't played a vlog at all. And he has a really good story. What, you just like listening to it? Yeah, but I haven't even tried to connect it together. It's kind of really hard. Okay, so he... I'll explain this to you after. Dad's almost get to cooking. Yeah, okay. Trash baggies being napped here. Okay. Ooh, what's that? What's that? What's up, Dad? Same old thing, just different day. <laughs>
Guys, I'm in. Come on. Okay. All right, you can visit with my baby a little bit. You can if you want. <laughs> That's like it's free. You feel good. Job for it's like he's using the old inside box. Might as well play on the right. It's okay, but then the outside box is missing the lugs to put the wires off. Yeah, tighten the wires out. Nobody knows where they're at. Good luck finding those things. You know, but you might end up buying a whole new outside box because they're not all the same. So you got to find another one there. Somebody's got no box just like it. Says you ain't gonna be able to buy them. And uh, uh, but anyway, all of it's ready so they can turn electricity on the wall, but they can't because you ain't keeping the two bugs going there. We have to have those. Yeah, and if we have to buy a new box, that means I got to take it What's off. What's the five thousand? They don't know what they're doing either. Was it a hard day or? No, it really wasn't a hard day. He wanted to know what I was going to charge him an hour uh, to do everything. And I told him 20 bucks an hour. I thought he might give him a little bit of break. I said, normally, I said, especially with Randy, I said, it was, or the other guy, I said, it was 25. But I said, I'll charge you 20 bucks. I said, I won't kid you on trying try to help you get it done. <laughs> And of course, the other guy that he's hired to do the carpenter work now, he said that's more than he's, he said it's the knowledge that you're I'll be back. Uh, so, it is Dr. Old Pie to add to that. Doctor, wait, who's all filming in the newspaper? So, then once the, the Here's crazy video. guys up that owns the place left, I told that other guy, I said that's. <laughs> The Verona community is in shock today over a chilling murder confession of former high school guidance counsellor Dr Benjamin Gelding. We now go to Ali who is live at East Verona High School. Thank you Seb. Dr Benjamin Gelding worked as a guidance counsellor here at East Verona High School for over 35 years until retiring in 2015. Earlier today, he confessed to pushing a student out of the sixth floor window of the school on November 20th, 1992. According to Verona PD, Gelding was having an affair with the student and pushed her out of the window when she threatened to go public about their relationship. Dr. Gelding also covered up the crime by creating a fake suicide note and lying to police about the victim's past history of suicidal thoughts. 
For more information about that investigation, <clears throat> I'll turn it over to Ron, live from the Verona Police Station. Thanks, Allie. Ms. Banks' death was originally ruled a suicide by Verona police detectives, but was recently reopened due to new information provided by an independent investigator who was able to prove Ms. Banks was not alone when she fell from the window and proved Dr. Gelding lied about his whereabouts on the day of the murder. Currently in his 70s, Dr. Gelding is facing multiple charges and is expected to spend the rest of his life behind bars. Back to you in the studio, Seb. Thanks, Ron. We'll have more information on this story as it develops. And after the break, we have exclusive interviews about the Johnny Rocker High School football betting scandal. We'll hear from two of his former teammates, Emmanuel Russell and James Lowe. Stay tuned. Soft, not crispy, that way it don't hurt your gums. Okay, good stuff. My hand's like, you can make it soft. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to hear you dance. Don't turn that down. The community is in shock today over a chilling murder confession of former high school guidance counselor, Dr. Benjamin Gelding. We now go to Ali, who is live at East Verona High School. Thank you, Seb. Dr. Benjamin Gelding worked as a guidance counselor here at East Verona High School for over 35 years until retiring in 2015. Earlier today, he confessed to pushing a student out of the sixth floor window of the school on November 20th, 1992. According to Verona PD, Gelding was having an affair with a student and pushed her out of the window when she threatened to go to the hospital. about the affair. Well, 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 well. Okay, I see, I see. Sometime. But you got a couple days. We got a couple days for cooler too, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Holy crap. Okay. Man, I thought it was the uh, drama teacher that was the one that was having an affair. I thought it was the. I thought it was that one guy, the. You try, like, got that bad report thing. Shove me timbers. What the heck just happened to this pin? What have you done to it? It just popped. Then. Okay. Let's see. Congratulations! Detective, you solved the case. If you enjoyed the case files, sign up for our new case email notification shop of case files, blah blah. Give us five stars. Voluntary statement. Oh, okay. I murdered J. 
Jamie Banks on Friday, November 20th, 1992. As a mental health counselor f familiar with impulsive control, something, I attributed my actions to a momentary subservient of the something called gate in the middle fractured glands tragedy by a rush of endorphins from my adrenaline glands. In other words, I freaked out. Do you just say that? Don't use big words. Uh, but understandingly, hasn't been able to reduce the shame I've endured through the years. Perhaps a full confession today will. Jamie didn't write a suicide note, and she wasn't bipolar. Jamie and I were having an affair, and she, she was attracted to my intelligence and wisdom. It started one day about a month before she died. She just leaned in and kissed me. I knew what was wrong, but our passion for each other brewed like, burned like a fire. Uh... Causing, uh, it chased me like a dark cloud, but still I could not resist. But eventually I knew I had to end it before someone got hurt. So I asked her to meet me in the newspaper room in order to break up with her when everyone else was at the pep rally. While waiting for Jamie in the newspaper room, I updated an article our article list for next week was something that happened that morning. And that's how investigators eventually prove I was lying about my about not being in the room that day. I have read the statement consisting of two pages in the fact blah 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 blah. Okay. In the witness <coughs> form, Joey Fury. After seeing the news report about Jamie Brooks and Dr. Gladding, <sighs> I decided to come forward with information I've withheld for decades about this case. I knew that Jamie and Gladden were having an affair, but I never told anyone. It happened when I was visiting <coughs> Earl Sampson in the fifth floor bathroom a few days before Jamie died. I was near the window and heard sound of two people kissing near the window in the newsroom above. You could tell there was a great passion because the kiss was quite loud but I couldn't tell who it was until Gladding started describing the parts of his brain that were getting active by activated and Jamie laughing. I kept my mouth shut because I think Jamie was about to write a story exposing my betting scheme with Johnny. And I didn't want to draw any attention to myself. Yes, that's right. Johnny Rook and I cheated Vernon out of thousands of dollars with a betting scheme I conducted. Johnny could single-handedly control the games, but he refused to lose, so I got him to keep the score closed, and we betted against the spread. It worked great until the championship when our team was only favored by three points. I wanted... A sure win, so I talked him into throwing it completely and letting the Colts win by a lane slide. It worked, and we cleaned up over $100,000 of cash. That cash would have really helped me in college. Too bad we took it to Atlantic City on Thanksgiving break. Ooh, ooh. And that's the end. We did it. We did it. Oh, after four hours. Kind of. Okay. Probably doing that old motherfucker. Oh, I'm old, man. Are you guys recording yourselves? Yeah. She, she did. Not oh, me. What? I don't know. Bye.